Some things in life are just made to go together. Peanut butter and jelly, rock and roll, the sun and the moon. These things got Blake Sanders, the owner of KS Services, thinking. What can we pair with our superior heating and air service to make our customers even happier? Plumbing Experts by KS Services was born. So the next time you have a clog line, leaky faucet, or water running all through the house, know there's a reputable company out there on call just a click away. Call KS.com, your trusted source for heating and cooling and now plumbing. It's the Weather Extreme video for Sunday, February 9th, 2020. I'm Scott Martin. Enjoy today while it will be dry because Monday starts a stretch of very wet weather that may bring some major flooding issues to the area. More on that in just a moment. At 8 a.m. this morning, we have mainly clear skies across central Alabama, but we do have pockets of dense fog out there that is showing up on the satellite image. A dense fog advisory is in effect for the eastern and southern counties of central Alabama and is set to expire at 9 a.m. Temperatures were in the mid-30s to the upper 40s across the area this morning. A few locations were tied as the cool spots at 36 degrees. Demopolis was the warm spot at 47 degrees. Birmingham was sitting at 39 degrees. Taking a look at the projected rainfall amounts between now and next Sunday morning, there is a wide range of numbers on the map from the WPC. It shows that the southern parts of the area may receive around one and a half inches, while the northern half could receive as much as seven to eight inches, and that rainfall action will start on Monday. For that reason, an aerial flood watch has been issued for all counties in North Alabama and for the northern and western counties in central Alabama starting at 6 a.m. tomorrow morning and is set to expire at 6 a.m. Tuesday morning at this point. More than likely, that may be expanded in time or in area. Now let's get to the forecast and we'll start with the 060 run of the GFS valid today at 3 p.m. Once the fog lifts out of the area, we'll have mostly sunny skies through much of the daylight hours, but clouds will begin to move into the area out ahead of the approaching cold front. Rain chances will start to increase after midnight over the western parts of the area, so go out and enjoy the day while it is dry. Highs will be nice, reaching the lower to mid 60s for the most part, upper 60s for the extreme southwestern parts of the area. A cold front will continue to make a very slow approach towards central Alabama on Monday as warm, moist, and unstable air will be pulled up into the area out ahead of it, setting the stage for rain and thunderstorms. Those will be likely over the western and northwestern parts of the area for the first half of the day and eventually moving into the rest of the area during the late afternoon hours. Rain could be heavy at times and some flash flooding issues are possible, especially with the already well saturated soils. One to three inches of rainfall is possible across much of the area through midnight. Highs will be in the lower 60s to the lower 70s across the area. On Tuesday, the front stalls out over central Alabama and that will keep rain and a few thunderstorms likely across the area through much of the day. Another surface flow will form out, at, out to the west of us that may allow some of the moisture to be pulled northward, which may allow some locations south of I-20 to be rain free for a few hours during the late night and overnight hours. Rainfall totals through midnight look to be around 1 to 2 inches. Highs will be in the lower 60s to the mid 70s. The surface low will be located on the Gulf Coast near the Texas-Mexico border to start the day on Wednesday and will be moving northeastward along the front. The front will also start to move once again slowly and the rain and thunderstorms will become likely across the area during the second half of the day. We could see another one half to one and three quarter inches of rainfall through midnight. Highs will be in the lower 60s to the mid 70s across the area from northwest to southeast. On Thursday, the system will finally catch high gear and will start to accelerate out of the area by or just after the midday hour. But another three quarters to one and three quarters inches of rainfall may occur before it exits stage right. Skies will remain mostly cloudy and afternoon highs will reach the upper 50s to the upper 60s. Cupid must have worked some kind of deal with Mother Nature to allow Friday to be rain free. We'll finally have a chance to get to dry out a little as skies will be slowly start to clear out during the day and will be mostly clear by sunset. Temperatures will be close to seasonal as highs will reach the lower 50s to the lower 60s across the area from northwest to southeast. Saturday will be a pleasant start to the central Alabama weekend, but the dry weather doesn't last long as showers look to move in after midnight. Skies will be mostly clear throughout the daylight hours with clouds increasing during the night. Highs will be in the upper 50s to the lower 60s. 
That will wrap it up for today's Weather Extreme video. James Spann should be back with the video on Monday morning. I'm Scott Martin signing off for today. Have a great day and God bless. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.